HP's Pavilion 16 is designed to appeal to both productivity users and multimedia enthusiasts in a competitive sub £1,000 jack of all trade laptop category. Specs include an AMD Ryzen 7 8840U CPU, a 16 inch 2K IPS touchscreen, and plenty of ports. Is it enough to take your hard earned money? Let's find out. <music> The HP Pavilion's design benefits from its designation as a jack-of-all-trades laptop. As an all-rounder in HP's lineup, it needs to be useful for a broad number of things, from leisure to light office work and even gaming. Yet like other portable laptops, the HP Pavilion 16 feels anything but cramped. That balance between sleekness and space creates a casual and relaxed user experience. The chassis is remarkably stable, even under significant pressure, with most areas sharing minimal flex. Same can be said for the display lid offering reasonable protection when pressure is applied. The 16 inch model exudes a sense of high quality largely due to the aluminium metal construction of both the lid and the top of the base unit. The light coloured silver surfaces are resistant to fingerprints. The hinges are not quite designed for one handed opening needing another hand to fully open the lid. Additionally the maximum opening angle is a rather modest 130 degrees. At 1.725 kilograms or 3.8 pounds you can just about hold the the laptop comfortably with one hand for a period of time. There's a large vent at the bottom to extract the cold air up. Rubber feet around the main grills aid in pushing more air in. Ventilation slots at the rear push the hot air out. In terms of sustainability of the HP Pavilion 16, the speaker enclosure and bezel is ocean-bound plastic. Keyboard keycaps and scissors contain post-consumer recycled plastic. There's recycled metal in the cover, keyboard frame, sideband and hinge caps. To open the maintenance bottom cover, loosen the four small Phillips screws and pry open with a plastic tool. The memory is soldered on so cannot be upgraded. The M.2 SSD storage is upgradable along with the 59 watt hour battery and WLAN card. This review model has a 16 inch 2K 1920 x 1200 IPS touchscreen. It's a 16 by 10 matte display with an anti-glare coating that reduces reflections compared to glass panels. Brightness is rated at 300 nits, fine for indoor use but not suitable for outdoor use or strong sunlight near a south facing window. Viewing angles are good thanks to the IPS technology, but the Pavilion 16 lacks a strong colour space, rated at an average of 62.5% sRGB. Okay for general usage like office work or video consumption, or even light Photoshop or Premiere Pro projects where you are not editing professionally. The touchscreen is responsive and works well. Thanks to the matte display, it feels soft to the touch, a useful feature when you want to scroll through a large report or long website page. On the left, we have one USB Type-A, 5 gigabits per second signaling rate, and a headphone microphone combo jack. On the right we have one USB type A 10 gigabits per second signaling rate, HDMI 2.1 and two USB type C 10 gigabits per second signaling rate, USB power delivery, display port 1.4, HP sleep and charge. The built-in Wi-Fi 6 2x2 chip from Realtek, RTL P852BE and Bluetooth 5.3 wireless card achieves good results during testing across two rooms. Bluetooth is stable connected to an external mouse or speaker. There's a full-size backlit soft grey keyboard with numeric keypad on the Pavilion 16. The large, nicely spaced out keys have a good typing action. The white on light grey key fonts are large and clear to read. A numeric keypad is useful for accounts or coding work. Most users will be satisfied with the typing feel. However, the enter key is on the smaller side and when touch typing the keys are a tad noisy. The power button is lost between the print screen and delete keys. There is a custom key to open up a choice between the My HP or Omen Gaming Hub apps. The HP image pad has position touchpad support. It has a large touchpad and a comfortable glide action. The integrated buttons do the job and are not too loud when depressed. Audio comes in the form of downward firing dual speakers located under the keyboard deck. In the My HP app you can tune the audio settings in partnership with DTS X Ultra. Features like AI noise reduction and AI noise removal. Sound quality is above average and respectable. Volume can get quite loud without too much distortion. Good for catch-up TV or listening to your favorite Spotify playlist. No surprise, bass could be a little stronger, but it's fine for general use. Here are some audio samples.
The HP TrueVision 1080p IR camera has temporal noise reduction and integrated dual array digital microphones. There's a webcam privacy shutter as expected. The 1080p webcam's image quality is average, typically found in notebooks. Colors even in a bright room are washed out and picture quality is slightly pixelated. It's possible for the occasional Teams meeting, otherwise invest in a decent external webcam. This review model has an AMD Ryzen 7 8840U processor, up to 5.1 GHz max boost clock, 8 cores and 16 threads. TDP is rated at 28 watts, along with 16 GB of LP DDR5 6400 soldered on memory and a 512 GB M.2 PCIe NVMe solid state drive. The Pavilion 16 will happily run most Office or web apps with no issues. Everything feels snappy with multiple Chrome tabs open, Outlook email and working on a large report or homework assignment. The pre-installed manufacturer software MyHP only offers two operating modes, namely balanced and performance. For our benchmark test, we set the best performance mode in Windows and plug the laptop into the mains during testing. With the Cinebench 2024 CPU single CPU test, the 8840U holds its own against the competition. In multi-core, it's just behind the Intel CPUs. Similar story with Geekbench 6.4 testing, only falling behind in multi-core. 3D Mark, Night Raid and Time Spy shows that the 780M iGPU is just behind the Intel Arc 8 core. It falls behind the Arc 8 core with the latest 3D Mark Steel Nomad test. Finally, with PC Mark 10, the A840U is not far behind the Intel 155H. Here's a list of the benchmarking results for reference. The AMD Ryzen 7 8840U is a rebranded 7840U offering performance similar to an Intel Core i7 13620H and the newer Intel Core Ultra 7 258V. Using the quick CPU tool plugged in balance mode idle, CPU temperature is around 35 Celsius. CPU clock speed is on average 2.5 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz and 2 to 2.5 watts CPU power. The keyboard temperature is around 29 Celsius and the top vent temperature is 30.3 Celsius. Fan noise is less than 30 decibels at most. With video playback balance mode, the 8840U doesn't break a sweat at 43 Celsius on average, is on average 2.5 to 3 gigahertz and 4 to 5 watts CPU power. The dual fans stay quiet and the temperature at the vents is 27.5 Celsius and 26.4 Celsius at the center of the keyboard deck. Fan noise is less than 31 decibels at most. Set to high performance plugged in running Blender benchmarking. The CPU is around 3.4 to 3.5 gigahertz. CPU temperature is around 74 Celsius and CPU power is at a constant 25 watts. The fan does kick faster and louder at up to 39 decibels. Temperatures around the top vents are 34.4 Celsius and 30 0.5 Celsius at the center of the keyboard. In battery mode, balance mode, video playback, the CPU power is 3 to 6 watts on average, clock speed is 2 gigahertz on average, and CPU temperature of 45 Celsius. The fans stay virtually silent, and chassis temperatures hit 28 Celsius at most on the keyboard deck, and 30 Celsius at the top vents. Same can be said with running the Blender benchmark tool under battery mode. Best performance. CPU power hits 25 watts, 3.5 gigahertz on the CPU cores, and CPU temperature from 69 Celsius to a high of 82 Celsius. The fans spin at up to 32.9 decibels and temperatures are around 35 Celsius at the center of the keyboard deck and 31 Celsius by the vents. Here's a list of the target audience for the HP Pavilion 16 AG 0001 NA. Business power users, working from home, college, university students, retired users. Inside is AMD Radeon 780M iGPU with 12 CUs at up to 2.7 MHz based on the RDNA 3 architecture. It uses up to 4 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory and up to 14 gigabytes shared GPU memory. It has 12 ray tracing cores and power consumption is between 35 to 54 watts. The 780M will play most modern titles in low to medium settings. Older titles will run happily in high to ultra settings. The 780M is best suited for a spot of gaming now and again. Here are some gaming samples.
The Pavilion 16 doesn't have much in the way of security features as it's clearly aimed at consumers rather than business users. No fingerprint reader or Kensington security slot. There is a webcam privacy shutter to stop prying eyes. Inside is a free cell 59 watt hour lithium ion polymer battery. In balance mode 50% brightness on video playback, battery life was a solid 11 hours and 11 minutes. Crank the brightness to full and this goes down to 7.5 hours. Running PC Mark 10 like a power user on balance mode, 50% brightness, battery life was just over 12 hours. At full brightness expect around 5.5 hours. Included is a 65 watt USB Type-C power adapter. Supports battery fast charge approximately 50% in 30 minutes. The good, the bad and the really bad. Great performance. The AMD Ryzen 7 8840U is a great performer considering it's designed for maximum battery life over performance. It offers plenty of grunt for general day-to-day -day usage. The 780M iGPU will play older gaming titles after a day of working from home or college. Value for money. The normal retail price for the Pavilion 16 is currently £774 or $999 before taxes. I managed to grab one in a HP sale for £449 or $580 which represents tremendous value for money. Decent battery life. The A840U is a power efficient CPU offering a day's battery life if you work from home or at college. Plenty of ports. The Pavilion 16 has plenty of ports including two USB Type-A, two USB Type-C ports, HDMI and a headphone microphone jack. Nip picking but I wish it had a SD card reader for transferring photos from a camera. Poor upgrades. The pavilion is limited to just one M.2 SSD slot for increasing the storage capacity. Memory is soldered on, so buy at least 16GB or 32GB at the time of purchase. Average display. The display panel is okay for general use, but not if you want colour accurate reproduction. At nearly £1,000 I would expect a better display panel. Poor webcam. With 5 megapixel webcams available on laptops in 2025, it's a cost cutting exercise from HP, especially when the pavilion is aimed at the working from home crowd. Charging port. Strange positioning of ports for the HP engineers. Most of it bunched up on the right hand side leading to cabling issues if you're right handed, especially if you're charging the laptop and using a lovely USB plugged in device. On the left side of the laptop there's only one USB type A port and a headphone jack. There's healthy competition in the 16 inch general laptop category. What are the alternatives to the HP Pavilion 16 AG 001 NA? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Dell Inspiron 16 5645 AMD. Lenovo IdealPad Pro 5 Gen 9 AMD Acer Swift Edge 16 SFE 16 44 R2VV Asus ZenBook S 16 OLED Huawei MateBook D 16 2024 the HP Pavilion 16 AG 0001 NA, powered by the brilliant AMD Ryzen 7 8840U, is a good looking, long lasting laptop for most general tasks. Performance is excellent, and with the Radeon 780M iGPU, you can even play a game or two after hours. There's a useful touchscreen for scrolling through long reports or web pages. The keyboard and touchpad are comfortable to use for long hours. There are some weaknesses, especially the average display when the competition has color accurate OLED displays. Memory soldered on, so you can't can't upgrade it. There's no SD card reader and all the ports are bunched up on the right hand side. If you're not too worried about the average display and won't be using it for content creation, the Pavilion 16 is a good all-rounder that covers most general tasks. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP Pavilion 16 AG 0001 NA laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.